everybody? It's your boy Barker Taylor. It's your girl Juicy. It's your girl Crystal Nadal. It's Lana Lazana. It's Tierra. And I'm Brittany. And, and welcome, welcome to Sway Girl TV. Valentine's Day edition. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, yeah. Before we get started, we have a little surprise for you guys. Well, for someone over here. So, uh -oh. if you guys that don't yeah. know, Brock's birthday just passed. I forgot. <laughs> and we decided as a I'm little group to get, do a little we something did. special for him. So, wait right we here. Did. We, we did. did. We did. Right here. We Brock did. Was Look, he, he don't know nothing. I'm not going to lie. I completely I forgot. forgot. <laughs> I'm like, I always forget shit. I completely forgot. Da, 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 da. Where you going, Juicy? You see where you going? She got something else. Don't leave it there. Right. All in one. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't want to make cupcakes also. You say handmade? Much, you know. These are just baked. Red oh. velvet oh. cheesecake oh. cupcakes. Bro. I'm about to say handmade. I don't know. I had to wreck your nerve a little extra <laughs> nah, these past two days. No just so I you can be mad at me. Okay. Okay. But yeah, so we got you some birthday gifts. Happy birthday, bro. Uh, his initial, but he can blame Trent for that. There you go. Uh, oh my God, I really didn't expect her to do nothing. Cause I didn't expect you nothing. You me? Come on, it's okay. Wait, Always expect, you're not expecting. Right but no. I can open this? Yes, open it, open it, open it. <gasps> open it! Don't say oh. nothing. Open it! Don't say it. Don't say nothing. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't say nothing. Just open it! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't say what it is. Sorry. Open it. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 Me. Yeah, that was oh, thank you. This is from all of us. Oh shit, man. Nah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we got <laughs> hold on. I got it, I got it, I got it. 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 I Serious, sorry. That's, that's, that's from all of us. Oh, I ain't gonna open it all the way, but thank you so much. Oh my that's god. That's for your travel because I'm really She said you was coming, uh, trash, trash. Oh, yeah, y'all, yeah, because my friend, I, uh, I came to visit my friend and I can't have all my, uh, in a Myers bag. He had all his toiletries in a Myers bag. I got a friend. Toiletry bag and a fanny pack for those who don't play with that. It don't, it don't I just want to say thank you guys so much. I've been with Swain. I've been with Swain for um, a year and a half, and I just never felt so loved. Nobody who I've ever worked with has ever done something has something so special with me. I love you guys. Aww. Aww. It's truly a family, my friends. I actually do talk to these bitches and hang out with these bitches in real life. I love it here. Oh my god, thank you so much. Hey, we mission accomplished. Now we can give back to the Somebody like, I missed the gift. That's because I ain't showing it back. <laughs> it's a fanny pack and a toiletry bag. Back. That's all, that's you, all need you need to know. know. Period. Shop swing. All <laughs> right. Now. <laughs> Sorry, baby. We have to support. We have to uh, only uh, do swing, baby. All right. Period, period, period. Okay, so if you're on the live, you guys. Uh, okay, I have a surprise for y'all because y'all did a, because they did a surprise for me for my birthday. I have a surprise for all of y'all on the live. So we had a sale going on for 30 percent off today right mm -hmm. 30 percent off today and the secret code is kiss k-i-s-s -S. yes so if you're on this live right now make sure you shop our 30 percent off sale the call is kiss that's my surprise for y'all for wishing me happy birthday thank y'all 35 percent off if you use the code pre p-r-e pre p-r-e that's the real secret code so that's only for y'all that's only for the people on the live so, okay. so if you want to get uh, 35 instead of the 30 percent off, use the code PRE, P-R-E, all caps, and check out. And get that discount. And we will be reminding y'all throughout the show, but yes. Um, now, let's cheers to me turning 26, and then let's go to the first question. Cheers to Brock turning 26. Cheers! cheers. More life, more life. Yes, I had a little drink. More life. You. More life. You're not yeah, drinking? What you drinking? No, I just don't have... All right, uh, Juicy. 
Yeah. All right, first question we're gonna get into is, are you genuinely ready to fall in love and have a real relationship? Where are you at in the beginning of 2023 with real love? I'm gonna go to my single uh, white females to the left of me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, look, so, um, Britt. Yes. I am not ready to fall in love. Was that the question? Are you ready to fall in love? Are you ready to fall in love and be in a relationship? No, I am not ready to fall in love and be in a relationship. I am ready to be a city girl all 2023. <laughs> I'm screaming. I'm going to continue dating with my date in the lives on TikTok. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, check out Brittany's day in the life show. Very, very entertaining. Very entertaining. My girl has probably the best day in the life out on yeah, right now. She, she's <laughs> teach. I'm definitely living vicariously through Brittany. Not going All right, TT. Now I don't want to spill your tea. So I'm gonna let you spill it if you gonna spill it. Now go ahead and ask the question. Here we go. You know I'm taking my. Well, right. I am not ready to fall in love. Um, I'm fresh out of a relationship, but I am not dating. I'm not ready to be a city girl. I'm not dating. I'm not doing nothing. Hey. I'm having some me time. I'm in. Mm. Therapy. I don't know that's right. I'm getting back to me and I just feel like when you get out of a relationship, I think maybe probably after each relationship, you probably should like have a so refresh. You definitely um, should. Like a refresh. Like you shouldn't be jumping right back to. Because yeah. the females, the right. girls love to jump from one to the next to the And next. I don't know, you might be getting some date in the life for me, you know, give me some time. I'm going to take right. notes from my girl. I know, that's why I girl. <laughs> I'm definitely ready to fall in love. Like, I feel like, you know, like, I'm not rushing it. I definitely have fun in love, but I'm also having fun with being a city boy. Mm. I'm also in therapy as well, but my therapy is getting that good D I C K. Yeah, you in therapy? S L D I C K. It's all me. If y'all go on my page. Ooh, no, I'm not gonna tell that tea. I'm mm. not telling that tea. I mm. told enough. But if y'all see the meme with uh, Jill Scott and why did I get married? She was like, I thought God gave up on me. I've seen that. <laughs> oh, is that true? But it just feels so good. And yeah, I feel like her. <laughs> yeah, Josie, how you, you feel a like? sick person. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to. I don't know. One minute I want a relationship, next minute I don't. We're just going to just, I'm just, I'm tabling it for now. I'm enjoying being okay. single for a while. And if someone decides to come along and change things, so be it. But I'm not looking right now. Urgent. I'm trying to get this money. All right. Chris, are you single? Urgent. I am not. She's okay, not. So now I'm going to move it over to my girls I in relationships. Not. So y'all already are in a relationship. So how could y'all answer the question? Well, so how would I ask the question if I'm in a relationship? So how's it going? Like, how is it going for you? Okay, where are you at in the beginning of 2023? How long have you been? <laughs> Me and my man locked in, ain't gonna switch up. Ooh. Okay, okay period. Yeah. Crystal. Crystal. I think my smile should give it away. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> my girl is happy. She did some of that therapy, too. I'm for sure happy. We were therapy. Know. My therapy. I'm not in therapy. I'm not in therapy. You're not in therapy. You're not in therapy. My therapy is the D.I.C.K. Uh -huh. No, I'm not in that. Oh. Real relationship. Like, but oh. the, but you, the you don't get dick in the relationship? Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Right. No. I'm saying I got that, but I got everything else. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Well. Oh, we here, no, we here. Yes, cool, no, cool, I am. She said, you a hoe. I have a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I feel blessed. You got me, I have everything. Is he the one? I love how we all I feel like he is. You feel like he the one? Oh, I'm happy for you. I was like, this is the... The last. Okay, okay, okay. I feel okay. like you really, you really uh, deserve from the. I feel like the conversations that we've had as a group. I feel like you really deserve that. Most definitely. Sure, so congrats. Sure congrats. 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 I'm definitely getting my blessings. I, I love you. Congrats. 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 Each mistake led you up. And my girl, year. and my girl oh, is still booked and busy, baby. We oh, love to see it. I mean, I got love and All right, so let's do that. I can't do that on. I wasn't there. I can't come up with. I fucking hate this shit. Oh, girl. Oh, oh you dropped the candy wrappers. You were sneaking snacks. Oh, <laughs> 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 my God, what's that me? Not the skirt. Oh, okay. So, you guys, Lana has on the Man Eater um, turtleneck bodysuit in Ruby. She has on the one two back leather shorts, you know, the so cute good. little zippers. Give you a little peek. Then outfit. she has the Crave Me Fox leather strapless crop top oh. for a little layer. And then Ooh. we don't sell the boots, but baby, they just hot tamale, baby. They, they sizzling. Yeah. They are Period. All right, let's go, Tierra. Yes. So, Tierra, darling, Tierra has on the Sugar Storm um, shorts in pink. Show off that booty, yeah. Hey, 
So she has on the sugar spoon. <laughs> Screaming. Dude, she has on the no yeah. way, on the I no. Know. I can't take my yeah. eyes off that She has right, on the no way pleated uh, 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 crop top. And then she has on the bed on it uh, boots in pink. <laughs> Y'all can't wrong? see me. <laughs> and my girl looks absolutely amazing. Okay. All right. Yes, Thank yes, you. Yes. Y'all look. Y'all look blessed. All right. You um, have to go down too, babe. Oh yeah. I'm a little. I'm a little tall myself. A little stallion. Okay. So my girl Brit Brit, she has on the hookup mock neck cut out sleeveless top in yeah. white. She has on the curve you fox leather um, pants and burgundy. We also do sell these boots, but we changed our boots last minute. I do not know the name, but we do sell them. So go under accessories, go under shoes, and you will find them. Pre pre is the discount code for thirty percent off. Oh, thank Period. you so much. Mm -hmm. All right, Crystal, step up to the light, Caroline. Mm, oh, you thought you got? No, you got. You got just the bartender say you got out of there. Right. Hey. <laughs> so my girl has on the locked and key boots in white. She has on the coming in. Look at that ass. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the coming in hot and you neon talking. pink. She has on an invest bodysuit, and then she has on a bolero that is a bolero that in pink. That's what this is. Okay. Yeah, she looks Period. good. Look good. Can somebody stand up, Josie? Yes, Josie. Yes, Josie. Well, hold on, or unless I can get it. Real, I'm gonna get it real quick. Hold on. Um, Do I move forward or I stay here? You better look it up. Is my little off real quick? Best, but while she gets the name of it, my girl has on a sickening, um, but no, my girl looks it's so classy. Housewife. Classy. She give me a housewife. I like the dress. Thank you. My girl looks absolutely good. And Enjoy like it. That's sleeping with it. Never mind. And my girl Lebe is going to tell y'all the name of it in just a moment, but my girl looks very classy. Very classy. The titties are What's sitting up. The girl is sitting in it. Mm-hmm. Okay. You look blessed. Well, come on, sit down. You look blessed. Come on, pretty things, so. I'm trying to move She coming, she coming. I'm sorry, y'all. We had to, we changed Juicy's outfit, so we didn't, this is not what I got written down. <laughs> but it's on the live. I think y'all can shop it, because it should, I know I tagged it on the live. Damn, so, heavy. yeah. Shit. Question number two. Oh, it's yeah. called No Reservations Built-in okay. Mini Dress. Sorry. Ooh, no reservation. I don't need no, no reservations. reservations. Period, baby. But my girl gonna have plenty of reservations with this dress on. How you doing? <laughs> Okay. I'll drink to that. So, okay. I was on my phone. Question number two. Do you have a Valentine? Is it cool to ask a man to be a Valentine or do you wait for them to ask you? I'm not answering this question because last time Crystal called me an eater. So <laughs> I'm gonna shut up. What? Like a dick eater? She I don't know. Why are you calling her eater? I mean, I do oh, eat a dick eater. I'm not about to spoil my niggas. Oh, she was in the kit? Yeah, that's how. What's wrong with spoiling your man? Oh, she was being a trash. Man. Oh, okay. I don't even want to go. I did that. Yeah, that's so, 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 I so, so, Sierra. So, okay. So, I eat the dick up. Okay. So are you going to have some type of Valentine this year, even if you're not dating them, dating them? Are you gonna have a Valentine? Um, do I don't know. We'll have to see when the day comes. Like, isn't that how that works? Cause I don't have a real, I don't have a Valentine like boyfriend. Should the man ask? He you? might surprise you with something. Who knows? Like, but mm. do you want him to surprise you with something? Uh. Mm -mm. Oh, mm -mm. not really. <laughs> do you think a man should ask you, or you should ask a man? To do what? Be a Valentine. <laughs> Why would I be asking a man anything? <laughs> well, <laughs> child. Well, hello. Uh, I'm gonna lie. Now nah, yeah. you obviously do have a Valentine. So, but like, so you can answer the question how you choose to answer. Why would I be asking a man anything? Child, y'all is the the amount of. Why the fuck would I do that? So if a woman does ask a man to be her Valentine, I mean, you know, are no you looking at her a little? Pick me, very much. Pick me. All right, that's pick, 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 pick me. What is so? Okay, never mind. Pick I said my mom would say, bro. I'm sure. Pick me, I said pick. I give you money. You technically don't have to. It's not, it's not just. Oh, oh. I'll fuck you a rough day. Men too. Y'all know how to breakfast club. Y'all know how to breakfast club. Do a dunk the other day. We should do a pick me the other day. Ooh, we actually do have a picnic of the day. Unfortunately, I cannot say their name on this live, but we do have a picnic of the other day. I will tell you later. Oh, to tell you All right. Later. Oh my God. Uh, Brittany, yeah, go ahead. Do you have a lot of time this Who year? And are. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, 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 I already know who it is. Just stuff you just looking at everybody. Laughing. Somebody take me. All right. Me. I, I don't know what the fuck going on. I'm not picking up with y'all. <laughs> Brittany, do do you have a better time this year, or do you think a man sh uh, should ask you, or should you ask him? I, need a call. I don't think don't that you should be asking a man to be your Valentine, and I don't know who's gonna be my Valentine this year. Which uh, one? Yeah, I like, think she got options. 
I don't know. We'll see who who comes like, you know. It's me. I ain't gonna lie, one year I had like an iconic Valentine's Day. Like I had like I five had things of flowers sent to my house. I was like, oh, I'm really mm, giving the girl. boys. Yeah. Giving the boys, ooh. Ooh la la. Okay. Mind you, these are all candidates. Nobody sexually yeah, active. These are all wannabes. Wannabes. Yeah. Wannabes. I do. Wannabes. I do. I do. Somebody. I'm that's, that, that's a Detroit um, holiday. I feel like it's, it's, it's a Midwest. Midwest. It's a Midwest holiday. It's Midwest. It is. We do. Yeah. Okay. We do. Yeah. Okay. I think Tuesday is for the boys. And that's why I feel like uh, no woman, no woman should ask a man to be their Valentine's Day. I feel like uh, Valentine's Day is strictly for the woman unless you're a gay boy like me. Then hello. And I'm sweet as I want to give to him. Not lie. Well, I feel like as a, even though like, you know, I, 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 I like I'm lady lady, but I feel like it should be equal. So I feel like based off the vibe now, personally, I would love for somebody to ask me to be their Valentine. Cause I feel like that's what I desire. Yeah. But I feel like we really vibing and it's really equal. I don't mind somebody asking somebody to be my Valentine, but I prefer this my ex. How your partner was loved as a child will show up in how they react when hurt, how they communicate during a conflict, and how they respond when you share your feelings. Do you agree? Or disagree why we're gonna start with Tierra, the chatterbox. <laughs> One chatterbox to <laughs> another. <laughs> okay, so I feel like that is okay, very important hungry. how someone was raised because Let me know some people were raised on survival, some people was raised in love. True. So like that literally plays a huge part in how they operate in relationship all together. Like mm -hmm. somebody operating in love, like when y'all get in an argument, they're gonna wanna communicate, they're gonna wanna understand where they went wrong, where we can fix it, cause that's like they're they're mad, but like they still love you. So they're gonna try to figure out it together and come with a solution. Somebody that's raised in survival, Trauma. they shut down. They're gonna be more so ready to, so a problem comes or a controversy comes and something like that comes, they're gonna be ready to just either cut you all the way off or shut down and no communication, kind of punish you with no communication, like things violent. like that. Get violent, because they don't know how to communicate. They just like, I, hope nobody I don't know what to say, so. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that though. Good question, good question. That is a good question. My girl is in therapy. Lana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Do you agree? Do you agree? Do you want to elaborate or no? Nobody got that, right? Brittany, how you feel about it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was about to She like, suck as fuck. You suck as fuck. Stop. So, how I feel is, um, I agree. I think that's why therapy is so important. So you can tackle those things. So you don't, so it doesn't, so you don't take it into adulthood. So, yeah, you need to get therapy. <laughs> Go see that lady. Get some help. Go see that lady. Go talk to that lady. Go talk to that lady because the lady ain't me. Yeah. The no, lady Because that character. really does affect. No, you should. I think I think a lot of people should be talking about therapy more. Some Absolutely. people think they don't this need it, true. but it's just, it, it tackles a lot of things that you don't even know that, you know, this is why I am the way I am. I'm not being. I Nobody think it's very important. Thing. That you have to really, uh, I mean, everybody parents different and they show their love different. But sometimes it really do, like, the way you show your child love does affect them when they grow up. Like, mm -hmm. it's some people that I hear be like, I never was hugged as a child. Mm -hmm. So they don't know how to be super affectionate mm -hmm. growing up now. But it's like, I can never imagine that because my mama hugged me. Bitch, yeah. bitch, if I even walked out the room, bitch, she's a like, hug before before you leave. You mm -hmm. feel me? So I feel like you know, hug your children and just let them know that you be loved. I feel like children need that affection because that really helps them as a child growing up and being an adult to show other people love and be kind to others. It you does. feel me? It does. I love when my mama hugs me. It makes me cry sometimes, especially if I'm going through something. Mm -hmm. Or saying I love you. Like some parents did not tell their children that I love you. Like sometimes you need to hear it. Cause then how you gonna know how to, if you love somebody when you go older, cause they never heard that growing up. Crystal, no sir. I'm not giving a sermon. Okay. I just think that people shouldn't date if they're not healed. And I say that from mm. experience. If you're not healed, you don't have no business dating nobody. Because That's 90% business. Seriously. You know, no, create, for real. It's gonna be a trauma situation. And it's I say that for my, for my own self. You know, I ain't had no business dating nobody when I wasn't healed because mm -hmm. I was doing traumatic like I, I was causing trauma in a relationship too you know mm -hmm. my insecurities have always been a problem so because I've been through so much I took that into every relationship and you know we can yank men down constantly who, who you talking to who you texting and I was one of them so like yeah if I was healed and I trusted I wouldn't be doing that mm -hmm. so I just feel like 
get some therapy, you know, spend some time with yourself. We mm -hmm. jump from relationship to relationship, heal. When you this break up, true. don't you don't gotta get under somebody to get over them. That's and true. You can get on top of them. It's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm joking, no. No, look at that. Some girl and nobody that ass, people no. really have a problem with We're going like, from one to the next. Seriously. With not being by themselves. You can't discuss it. Trauma from what the past issues. It comes from stuff of their childhood. Childhood. Some women didn't have fathers when they, and I know it's different from everybody, but some women didn't have fathers, so they look for father figures. And these niggas. Don't let my cute face fool you. Yeah. 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 Everybody yeah. up here yeah. is fucked up. Why did we all have a Oh, my closest friend, I'm, so me and her actually kind of like beefed out Everybody a little right now. I hate it. If you're not happy in what they got going on, it's going to be hard for them to be happy for you. But genuinely, it's so something what you don't like about Because them. that's from, to me. And that's why I, I said, said they give me a DL. When I say me Valentine's Day edition. Dun, dun, dun. <clears throat> Do you still have friends from diaper ages or high school friends you still hang out with? All of my friends are from high school. Well, aside from like you all, like my everyday friends. You know my friends from college? Hmm? College. Um, one. She hated her school. Like, she hated her school. <laughs> okay. No, she didn't. That's what I'm saying. I hated some things, but I just didn't hate it. Okay. Where'd you go? I went you to Michigan State. Though. Can we school that fan up? Yes, more? I went to Michigan State. Just a little bit more, baby. Just a lot of bullshit happened there, but such is life. Go green. Go up now. Period. Up now. Yeah. yeah. I was up then. Uh, uh, Brina, you still friends with some friends from high school? Yep. High school, I have a couple from middle school. Um, I don't know about early childhood though. Uh, besides like my family, but uh, middle school and high school, yeah. Period. Tier. Okay. I got friends from like young, super young. To college, to high school, and all that. Yeah, I'm so I'm so cool with a lot of my high school friends. Uh, I still keep in touch with some of my middle school friends, and I've reconnected with a few of my elementary friends. But like, you do know social media has made that something. Oh my god! So much. Like, if it wasn't social media, we probably wouldn't. Social though. media. Yeah, no. Yeah. I feel like when I hate when people say like social media is such a negative place. It honestly can be a really positive life. place because it's a double -edged sword you can sure. reconnect with people you haven't seen in years. Like I feel like our parents didn't have that um mm -hmm. that luxury of like growing up in like mm -hmm. seeing mm -hmm. who they went to grow up with because they didn't have social media. So they I feel like got a bump huh? into them at the grocery mm -hmm. store. My mom literally keeps up with all her class from Denby. But it's no. Social media no, she's been, they have they go to their reunions. They keep up even before social media. They kept up with each other. But that's because yeah. back then everybody grew up in the same they neighborhood. They had the house farm near, baby. That's All my mama friends is from her childhood, though. Yeah, but I said, my mom, everybody grew up in her neighborhood. So they went to school together, they played together, all that stuff. So. Do you guys still have childhood, childhood friends? My cousins. I do. That don't count. I was a weirdo, so I, I really didn't have a lot of friends in I high school. I still keep in touch with the vast majority of people. My best friend is my friend from high school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we I'm cool, like, high school. people I was in first grade with, like, oh, we're cool. Yeah. Like, we don't hang out, but we like, we still talk and communicate. Oh, no. My closest friend, I'm, me you. and her actually kind of, like, beefed out a little right now. I hate it. I've been cool school. with her since we was in, like, the seventh or eighth grade, but we didn't go to yeah. the same school. I went to, she went to Go Lightly and I stayed in the neighborhood of Go Lightly. Oh my and my cousin was Go Lightly, so I just knew all the Go Lightly kids. Mm. Well, like me, Kennedy, all my best friends, Casey, I've been knowing them since I was like in eighth grade. Did that count? Yeah. 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 I guess I'm, that middle school? I'm the only one that didn't have friends. I didn't, middle school. No shocker was, there. It's like, <laughs> oh, sorry. But look at me Sorry, and look at the from my school. I don't care. But no, I was, We're your I was, friends now, though. I know. I really didn't get along with people. I mean, you I was I was the eyeball. I had a lot of, like, I dealt with a lot of, like, you know, mental stuff when I was younger, especially, like, That's seventh grade. And I had a imaginary friend. Nobody liked me. So. You, you, you had an imaginary friend, friend away. I was in the I was in the sixth grade. Yes, her name was Cynthia. Yeah, yeah. Her name was Cynthia. That was my girl. You seen her? She, she sat yeah, next to me. What she, she, she look like? What she look like? When did you get rid of her? Oh my gosh. I didn't get rid of her. She moved away <gasps> when I went to the Ooh, hospital. This is delusion. <laughs> no, but you gotta think about it. I dealt with a lot of stuff she mentally growing up. Yeah. I literally I had a mental that, illness when I was little. Wrong. So it okay, wasn't like. Don't be saying that because then they gonna think I'm a monster. I didn't wanna laugh. <laughs> right, she go. You know, she like, damn. No, it's not. I 
want to make it. I don't want to make it like I'm delusional. It literally was like I love not matching friends. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, that could have been a so you went to the hospital. What happened? I don't want to talk about that. Her, her, name? Oh. her name was Cynthia. So when you went to the hospital, they <laughs> was Cynthia. Cynthia. No, when I when I got older, she was black or white. She was black. Why would I have a white friend? Angelica. Juicy. You know that could have been a couple. It was. I did. It, I feel like it was. I, my teacher let me put a desk next to me, and she sat there all the time. Like it was. <laughs> oh wow, baby. And then I got kicked out of the school for threatening to blow it up. What? You and Cynthia, huh? They, the whole class jumped me because I pushed the, the popular girl. Hell you yeah. old Osama bin Laden. And what's crazy? It was right after 9/11. My dad is in the army, so they really was like, oh no, she gotta go. She gotta go. Yeah, they was like, her her dad's in the army. She gotta go. I was like, well. If I call him, he gonna make it happen. I'm worried. And then they called my mom, and they was like, she has to go. <laughs> I was like, mm -hmm. Juicy. Oh my God. So when what? did your mother and friend leave? Ooh. She just told you. I think I want to say like eighth grade. Eighth grade. Yeah, eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Okay. Little after eighth grade. <laughs> so you would talk, and she would talk, and you would talk back. Yeah. I was <laughs> quiet doing class though. <laughs> Juicy! Y'all was whispering I this. Was, if I called my sister right now, she would tell you. My mom would tell you. Juicy, would you fucking with people? No, I didn't have no friends. Cynthia was texting in class. All right, define a true friend. <laughs> you said she was what? <laughs> 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 Cynthia, what was texting in class. She didn't have a phone. We didn't have phones Right, that was back in 2004. Oh, you were trying to fuck with me. No, I wasn't. Okay. Define a true friend, so you can go first. Cause, cause you, got, you got all the friends. You got a friend in me. It's for I don't give a fuck. You Cause guess what? Cynthia might have left, but she's still close by. She'll come fuck all the shit out. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not fucking with you. Cynthia is fucking away from me. Juicy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, I just I'm want not people not to know you. that we are. This is all funny, guys. We know Juicy can take it. Please don't. Oh my god. Oh yeah, cause if I call Cynthia, all y'all in trouble. Yeah, like I don't want you to call Cynthia. A true friend is not judgmental. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging you. We're not judging you. I'm not judging you. I wasn't even she was throwing shade. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was. I think so too. Y'all asked me what my definition of a true friend is. Okay. Did y'all not? Am okay, I, I, is this a okay. safe place? Yeah, okay. okay. More than a safe place. Go ahead. Shut up. Uh, non judgmental, of course. Forgiving, understanding, and loyal. Like, And I feel like a true friend, you don't have to talk to them every day. No. But when Producer. you. When you, this is jailbreak, he called on my phone. Excuse me. Uh -huh. um, they got time to call later. He, no, I ain't talking to him. Um, what I say, uh, you you can't, now, if you don't talk to your friend every day, mm -hmm. it doesn't, it's not no, oh, we ain't, I ain't talk to her, so I, don't, yeah. I ain't fucking worry no shit like that. Yeah. It's really just like, you. people get busy, y'all lives are different. Your friend might have kids, you don't. Your friend might have a man, you don't. And it's just, it's just like, no matter what, y'all can still come back and be cool. True friends. You about to roll up. Is somebody who is like, like you don't have to talk to them every day, but they're they've been there or are there through like every phase or stuff in your life. Mm -hmm. where you're like, like you up, you down, like you sad, you happy, every day they're supportive, um, honest, like that's so important. Um, yeah, yeah. Sierra, what's your friend to you? I feel like a true friend is just like a safe place. Like we already dealing with so much in the world. We gotta deal with like significant others and our jobs and like things like that. Your friendship should feel like light and like just like you can like just be stress free and like like it's just a safe place to laugh. You can tell each other y'all secrets and know that it's not gonna be used against you late at a later date. Like it's just a forever safe place. Forever. You're a true Ooh, that's friend. Hey. friend right there. You're, You're here, here to the end. end. You're here to the end. You pull me aside when something ain't right. right. So I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No need to pretend. You're a true friend. friend. What's that? Was that Hannah Montana? That was Hannah Montana. Okay. Oh, come. That was lame. Yeah. 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 I do love that. Thank you. That's better. Can we do something more this color? Not this. Alright, for my birthday, that's what Casey uh, the song he put. No, no, what's a true friend? Uh, a true friend to me is family that you choose. Mm. I like that. Um, 
Yeah, like everyone said, you know, like your family, and I'm not talking about like for bitches that you gotta cut off. I'm talking about like the friends that, you know, make it through it all, like that's really your family at this point. They're loyal, they're kind, they're honest, they're transparent, they accept you for who you are, for everything that you've been through. They seen you at your lowest, and they're there and happy for you at your highest. You know what I'm saying? So, amen. Yeah, that's what I feel like a true friend is. So, me, basically. Yeah. A Bitch. true friend definitely is going to tell it like it is, mm, whether that's true. That's it's going to hurt some no yes feelings. Man. No, yes. Like, no, no, yes, no, yes, man. Man. Mm -hmm. no, yes, man. Because sometimes I'll be looking at some of the things you people be doing. And, and I'll be the like, the first thing I say is, they don't, don't have no yeah, friends. Yeah, they don't got no friends. Yeah, but and I then for the people who publicly got friends, I say, y'all a group of fake ass bitches. Oh, okay. y'all knew to tell her. Y'all a group of fake ass or bitches. Him. Because y'all know damn well. Y'all should have told her that. You know what I mean? The clothes be the minimum of the shit. It be like, like you said, why are you let your friend and fuck that man? Don't act dippy shit like that. <laughs> like, like, why you let your friend? Why you ain't tell your friend that she was a bitch? Do that. Do that. Say that. You ain't tell your friend she was a pick me. I hate that. Mm mm. Oh, gotta do better. I'm going to the next question. Yeah, we just did two guys, right? Six. Okay. Rock, do you tell your friends everything about your life? Why or why not? I tell my friends absolutely every single thing about my life. I'm an open book, so I really don't have nothing to hide. So when it comes to my friends, it be killing me not to tell them. <laughs> like, I'll be like, oh my God, like, I be trying to keep a little secret. They be like, nah, oh my god, bitch, guess what? Mm. Bitch, something had just happened to you, Carl. Bitch, oh, <laughs> okay, well, Lana, even when it's a, because y'all, somebody recently just tried the oh. fuck out of me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Tried the fuck out of me. I couldn't wait to come to work and tell all of them, like, y'all, guess what the fuck this nigga <laughs> said to me? Because he tried and to. And what we me. all say? Yeah, no, no, no. no uh uh, <laughs> it's not giving, because that nigga has you fucked up, like, yeah, so I tell my friends. So they were getting weird. Yesterday. Motel 6 Very weird. Yeah. yeah, he, like, yeah, so I tell my friends everything because they my friends, so, bitch, who else am I gonna tell the suit? I'm gonna have everybody. Can't, he I can't tell my mama. He not taste the liquor and ah. this shit I'm making. Crystal is banned from the uh, I'm so She's too good. Crystal, you tell your friends everything? No. Ooh, okay, why not? I just had a bad experience with it. It's her business. Mm -hmm. Then make your friends then. Well, then call yeah. it with a What's your bad experience? I don't even think it's that. I just think it's in human nature for people to judge you. And no, like, it's not. Yes, the fuck it is. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a good friend. Okay. But it's certain shit. I be like, my friends are fucking dumb. You know? So I've... I just learn to take my L's in silence if I do have to take them now because I'm the type of person who don't like things rubbed in my face. I don't like to be reminded of my mistakes. I know that I fucked up. Don't remind me. It's people around you that will remind you, not purposely doing it, but they'll do it. So if I never tell you, you, you won't know. Remind. So when you say you had a bad experience, what when happened? I've had bad, yeah, I've had but, my secrets told. See, I've I had, it. you know, I mean... I don't life like that. that happens, you know. I got bitches I ain't cool with that I'm still keeping. In that same way with me, but <laughs> I just feel like I don't. I don't look at. I don't look at. You know, diff, uh, different friends. Like to go back on that question y'all asked, mm -hmm. I didn't get to answer that. But I just feel like different people. People are different. Everybody not the same. Mm -hmm. So I just it's friends that I can. I do have a couple of friends I could call and tell them my secret. And it's gonna stay a secret. Then I got another friend in the friend group that I can't. Say nothing to, and I have to tell them keep your mouth shut. You we need to learn the difference between friends and acquaintances, you know? and yeah. that's it. Some people are acquaintances, and that's okay. It's everybody not True. your friend. Define it. Everybody didn't acquaintance know. is somebody acquaintance. I'm not gonna bring around just anybody. I'm not inviting them to something personal. I just see you when I'm out. A friend is somebody I'm inviting to, you know where I live at. What happened? You I don't know. I feel like can an acquaintance. Question? I feel like an acquaintance is somebody that's just like that. Like you can you I'm not really about to go to you with my secrets, yeah. all of my business, da, da, da. But are you well, cool? What if it's somebody we got time. We got time. You know, in my personal like that though. But you gotta learn how to you differentiate. It's associated. But I'm saying like it you sometimes it and take I'm gonna tell y'all this and I'm gonna leave it at this sometimes it take for God to throw certain situations in your face I for you to really to see what people are and I say that because you may reach a certain um, peak like you might do real good doing something you know I'm, I'm a friend so whether I'm doing bad or good I'm still 
there for my friends. I'm still happy mm -hmm. for what they got going on. Sometimes it's conditional for people. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If they're not happy and they not happy in what they got going on, it's gonna be hard for them to be happy for you. But genuinely, that's their fault. That's what that's they got going on. I'm not person. that. I could be on my, like on my personal. knuckles, on my knees. But if my friend is winning, I'm happy for you. I'm showing you I'm happy for you. I'm not jealous. I'm not mad that exactly. it's not happening for me. But mm -hmm. it's just like everybody built different. And that's why I say you just got to choose how you deal with people. Don't make them a bad person. That's just how they are. But you know what you can and can't do. Facts. That's it. Yeah, I, got I, something I got something to add to that. Uh, telling your friend everything. Because sometimes I think I'm that friend that some people don't want to tell stuff to. But they end up, the because I'm like, they know I really, really love them. And I literally am the type of person that you crying, I'm crying with you. I'm saying that. Like, I'm really hurt. And then you get back with that nigga, I'm like, I'm, I, I'm not mad at you though. Like, I'm never mad, but I'm like kind of sad. Mm -hmm. I feel the emotion like, damn, like I thought it we was it. like, about them, about them. I'm not going to beat you down about it. Like, even if I see your nigga out doing some shit, I'm going to tell you. I feel like it's my job to tell you whether you stay or leave, that's not my business. As long mm -hmm. as I told you. That's like, I did my part. Yeah. But I'm never gonna judge you or be mad at you or nothing. I explain that all the way. Like, I just want my conscience clear. I'm gonna tell you, cause I want my conscience clear. Like, I don't want, I never want you to find out I knew about some shit and they yeah. tell you. Like, I ain't keeping secrets for no nigga. Like, Fuck telling it. every fucking time. Fact. But I feel Fuck like some of my friends be like, not be wanting to tell themselves, cause they know I be wanting better for them. And they know they be hurting my feelings for real. I'm not even gonna beat them up. They just know I'm gonna be like, mm kind of hurt like my feelings gonna be hurt like come on dude. damn i wonder what my friend's reasoning is because my friends definitely know well some of them feel like they can't tell me everything some stuff because you know you're gonna be like i mean i ain't gonna beat you up though but they but i think they see it in my face like i'm like i don't care why you do that because I'm, honestly i'm i'm probably maybe more of the honest man because i also be feeling like this i be feeling like God has put me through certain things that my friends more than my family has like witnessed and been there and mm. seen me go through and it's like I sometimes I'll be feeling like bro this have happened to me and it happened to me in front of you and you want to turn around and do the exact same it's like why are you why you know what I'm saying like what what's happening you literally have to be the friend to let your friends make the mistakes I'm the type of friend that I'm going to tell you my opinion bitch you want to keep doing it you hey, like I'm gonna tell you, it. I don't want you, bitch, don't tell me no more because I don't want to hear it. Okay, if you don't want to hear it, well. I don't want to hear it. Period. Or, bitch, I'm gonna just let you just be dumb until you just realize. Mm. People have to make, people literally have to make their own mistakes, even they as your to. friends. See, I'm tell them the stop truth until you, you, you get done. Tell, tell them the truth and then leave it the you fuck alone. You yeah, just can't disrupt my peace with it. Like, when you start disrupting my peace, I don't mind you venting and that third. But when I get the pulling up and I, you get to having me doing shit and... Do y'all know I stopped talking to my friends before? I'm having before that. Problem. Like, I knew that I wasn't done dealing with somebody they knew I didn't have nobody business being with. Everybody hated this guy. I respect that, but though. But I, 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 like, literally had to walk away from them yeah, I still had to because I had to because I didn't want to happen them. to them mm -hmm. you know, they just that. like she chose him that. over us no I didn't because I knew y'all was gonna pull up I knew this was gonna it happen is something and I else. knew that I was gonna keep going back until I was done dealing with it and after the situation was over then I explained see I'm not pulling up without them telling me to pull up like mm -hmm. I'm never gonna overstep oh see I'm yeah. not overstepping bounds yeah, I'm like not. I'm only doing it if you want me to do that like I you want me to come. Hands on me, so you I want me to come him. help pack up your shit. I'm gonna come help pack up your shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not just gonna pack they up they your shit for you. And they just was like, Yeah, yeah I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna lay side for that one, Crystal. If you if hey you guys. put your hands on my friend, then I'm pulling up. Oh, oh, oh I'm pulling up. Green the loaded. We you ain't got to work one time. But if you go back, call real quick. Oh God, my hands are in my. If you're watching this live right now, hi. This is a brief intermission. We have a secret code for you guys. If you shop right now during this live. Uh, you get 35% uh, off if you put in the code PRE, which is P-R-E, PRE. Shop that code. You're going to get 35% off if you're watching this live. Make sure y'all shop the code because okay. Valentine's Day is coming up. Y'all need them physically, y'all dates. So make sure y'all shop the code. What is it, y'all? PRE. P-R-E. P -R -E. Yes. Who made right. that up? Back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Go to the next question. Yeah. Define a true baddie. Me. <laughs> Go ahead, Brittany. I want you to do this guy first. Me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I drink but I'm not. Me time. too. Um, a baddie. I'm laughing but serious. <laughs> La oh, that's Very what I'm yes. We're talking yeah. like this is your bad girls club audition. I'm a bad girl because. Yeah, we're not doing that. But, um, 
the definition of a baddie to me is like not even it, it has a lot to do with how you look but it's also how you carry yourself i feel like you have to be very you should carry yourself very confidently like sit up straight like don't when you walk to a room don't look down like walk in like you are that and you know you're that you're very secure and confident within yourself obviously looks come into play yeah but let's talk about more than that shit baddie got more to do with it just how you look mm -hmm. yeah this is true lana Okay. Um, I think a baddie, a real baddie, it's definitely energy. Um, I think the baddie or the woman, the person that can attract everybody, like not just men, but women as well, the CEOs, the janitors, like a baddie is a showstopper because she, you know, she coming in and she's taking the room, she's taking everybody energy. It's not maybe because of what she has on, it's just something about her. That is just very intriguing. Everybody, you know, everybody in the room wants to talk to her. She's talking to everybody. So, you know, it's just like, it's it's just that girl. She's together, you know. She lives a, a whatever lifestyle it is that she wants to live. She's clean, crisp, put together all the time. Yeah. You don't see oh, her I sweating. That girl. Yeah, she that girl. She's that girl. I feel like a baddie has actually nothing to do with your looks. I feel like it's how you carry yourself and present yourself like period point blank if you put together it don't matter if you got designer or if you got rainbow or whatever low end dollar general like if you Whoa. clean you put yourself together you carry yourself with confidence you don't take no crap from nobody you stand on what you believe in and you not falling for anything like you a baddie like i don't care what somebody look like, I can always tell when somebody is confident. Yeah. Like, we could be in a room, it could be somebody that look, like, absolutely crazy, but, like, it's something about them. Like, yeah. Yeah. she is confident. You the baddest bitch, and you ain't confident. Like, if you, not, like, it's been beautiful women. If they're not confident, then, like, it's not really giving baddie. You dressed up like a baddie. But you're not a baddie for real because mm -hmm. you let people play your face, and you playing in your own face, and all of that. Thanks. I love a fly-ass bitch. Like, I feel like that's what, that's all the time when you're gonna hear me say, that's a bad guy, like, that's mm -hmm. a bad guy. Like, when I just see somebody that's fly as fuck, and she like, when you walk, walk in that room, like, oh my, I love your outfit, like, that's the type of thing that attracts me. Like, I love when people be on their shit too, but like, far as like a just, a baddie, I just love a fly ass female. Put that's together, just bitch. like, she just walking in that room and is like, sh bitch, I'm best dressed. Like, like your face I, don't, like, I don't care what <laughs> bitch in here got what fit on, bitch, I'm, okay. I'm that, I'm that girl. Like, I love, and I just love being around bad bitches. Like, I'm bad in the bitches. booth lamb chops and some hookah mm -hmm. with some bad bitches. I know, like, when you see a real baddie, your face yeah. up like, but you ain't mad, you like, I'm bitch. Like, like, you like, I love, I love bitch. being, yeah. I love being the gay boy in a booth with a bunch of bad bitches and niggas be trying to talk to them, like, never. I love it. I'd be like, yeah, you wish she was me because I'm with the bitches. Like, they be so mad at the they gay boys. They be so boys. mad, but I, that's why I love being the gay boys. All the straight boys hate my gay bad friends. bitches. I can slap their butts. Him. I can, like, touch on them and I can just have fun. He's definitely seen all of our vaginas. He oh, definitely. I think he is too, though. Yeah, I did. Yeah. No, but no. My friend has seen my vagina. <laughs> she has. <laughs> I agree with Tierra. I was just gonna say the same thing as far as like baddie has everything to do with confidence with me. Um, I I don't I'll, I don't think that it for me it don't have nothing to do with how you look um, or how you just if you're a pretty girl um, how society looks at you. I just think that being a baddie is like loving yourself. You know, being confident within who you are. Um, I see girls who walk outside with neon hair and an outfit to match and the confidence level is so high. And like Tierra said, mm -hmm. you're gonna feel that. Mm -hmm. People just give off that vibe, you know, some people just got it, you know, and that's what it is to be a baddie to me. Because like Brittany said, you could you could be dressed up to the nines and have no confidence whatsoever. Exactly. You're mm -hmm. not a baddie. You know, just you look good but you're a shell. Inside mm -hmm. you feel nothing. So mm -hmm. this a girl that's not that's really on Instagram like that. She has no sneakers. Energy is everything. It's, 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 it's all about confidence and energy. For me. In the, in the match. <laughs> <Did you see? laughs> that's it. That's all. Juicy. Shut up. I'm sorry. Um I'm gonna piggyback on what Tierra and Krista said. Coming from somebody that really gives, like, I, I'm not always put together. And I feel like when I'm not trying at all, when I'm not dressed to the nines, that's when I feel my most confident and comfortable. Like, I can walk in a room and just have on sweatpants and it's a sweatshirt and some boots or some gym shoes, and I just feel the most confident. I think less is always more. I've seen, recently, I've seen a girl that is 
gorgeous, dressed or not, and she literally has the worst anxiety when it comes to talking to people. She can take a dog, pick dog ass picture, but she literally doesn't know how to speak publicly or how to do any type of promo that she has to talk in. So it's like, I feel like it's more so, it's in you, it's not on you. God damn. But okay, what, define, so you said, you know, always put together. When I say put together, I don't mean like deep face. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, that's what I mean about that's what I mean about I feel like put together, I feel like if you're put together, you're just always put together. Like, no matter if you're going to the grocery store, you know what I'm saying? I just like, thought about chill. Yeah, like, if it's a chill, but a big, know. if you giving chill, but a big deal, then you giving chill, but a big deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm giving. Like, you know, like, it's, it's sweats. It's sweats. It's platform little Uggs. It's Ugg boots. It's a little vest. It's a, you know what I'm saying? Maybe your hair in a ponytail with some little your energy. It's just the energy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about. Your girls. You need to make You know, but I do feel like, you know, certain level, if you a bad girl, you also not. It's a certain thing, a bar that you not going up under. That's okay, so, me, and then that leads into the next question where it says, do you consider yourself a baddie? If so, why? What makes you a baddie? So let's go down the, the line. So let's start with Sierra. So what makes you a baddie? Do you consider yourself a baddie? I think I'm a baddie yes. because I always come out at any and every situation. Like, I handle all situations with grace. Like, I can hear somebody talking about me. I probably won't even address it. Like, like I'm always going to come out of every situation, even situations where I'm like really fucked up in. I'm somehow going to find a way out. Like, I, I'm going to always. It's always gonna click. That it's gonna be like a light switch. It's gonna click like, and then like I feel like I don't have to deal with nothing I don't want to deal with. Like, and I'm not going to. Like, that's just my attitude. Period. I don't take no shit from nobody. Like, and I don't let people get like. Another thing about me, I don't let people get to me. I don't get anger easily. I'm just very like calm. Like, I'm I'm in here. I'm not gonna let you get in here. I'm in here. So like, it's nothing you can say or do that's gonna get me upset. Like. Brittany, why are you a baddie? Um, I would say I'm a baddie because I love um, just the way I take care of myself and the way I carry myself. I am, I feel like, like Sierra said, I can put myself out of any situation. Like, I done been through shit that even these people don't even know that I've been through. And I tell them about shit. But like I don't look like nothing that I've been through. You right? don't, girl. So I you would look good. Like, you, you look good. Thank you. So yeah, I would. Yeah, for sure. Um, you will be next. I'm gonna always go last. Please. I can't be I'm throwing up gang signs. We go last. You gotta go first. Somebody. Right. Okay, we wanna go this way. Okay, okay Brock. I'm a badass nigga. You, we've been saying that word all night. It is too late. We have yeah. been. We have. We have. But sweet, yeah, we definitely have. We have. We said nigga. I said nigga. I'm a bad. You did. And you gonna say it? I'm. A, I'm like I'm a bad nigga. I, I feel like I have really good energy. Like I feel like that plays a part. Like I have really sure. good. Like I literally. I went to a store. I was in the store and I was buying something and the cashier was just like, I love your energy and she like, I know that sounds really weird. I was like, it don't. Like I really appreciate her. I didn't say shit Sierra about the beginning. What are three things that um, that you want a man to do that a woman does? Nobody asked you. Nobody. We wouldn't be just, talking about you that. You throwing up. Yeah. That's That's sick. It's, it's a mental illness.